Okay, guys, so I finally decided to wor start working on this back wall that's uh, part of the kitchen. And for one, I discovered that this was not an original wall um, and is not a load-bearing wall. So if we, uh, if we decided we wanted to remove this, it's not really going to mess with anything. I mean, I know that there's one rafter kind of sitting on it right there, but you know, it just, it, it's not carrying any other weight other than that. I have the door blocked off back here. I just didn't want people coming through. And I found out some interesting stuff. So this is, uh, let me see if I can get through this little hole right here. All right, so you can see the other bedroom on the other side of that knot hole. So this is the wall that I need to come through to make the door to that bedroom so that you don't have to walk through another bedroom to get into this back bedroom. Originally, I thought it was gonna be more towards the wall over here because you can see part of the wall right there. That's a stud. So I thought it was gonna be over there, but down here you can see that is the door for the cellar so i think what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to move the stud right here over and kind of split the difference between these two i'm sorry about trying to back up a little bit kind of split the difference and then um if we can get this door be a little bit strange but maybe uh put this door so that it swings out instead of in or we could just leave it how it is you just might you know have to be careful not to slam the doors into each other so this wall considering it's the back wall of the house or was originally the back wall of the house i'm assuming this is a load-bearing wall so I will have to do some modification and make sure that we support it properly if we're going to put a door right there. And there was maybe something here before. I've got like a partial piece of a rafter or something right there. I'm not sure. It's got a bird's mouth on it. I don't know. I'm not sure what all that is right there. Um, I got maybe about 30 minutes left, so maybe I'll maybe I'll do a little bit more work for about 30 minutes and then uh, update the video and obviously the cellar is not accessible at this moment in time and we also have to come through this wall or remove this wall if we remove the wall sorry I had to crawl through if we remove the wall I've got to figure out where this plumbing's gonna go but I have to redo the plumbing anyways, but I also have to make sure not to block that cellar door right there. So, you know, the, the tankless water heater and the uh, water filtration system was supposed to be on this wall right here. And we were just gonna have an opening over here and then I was gonna put the cabinets back. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that's what we want to do or not. So I'm going to have to get with my other people that are co-owners and um, we'll have a little powwow about what to do with this wall here since uh, I thought it was a load-bearing wall, but it's not. And it's obviously not original either. Um, and another way I can tell that is because this paneling here runs behind the stud and you can see it on the other side that's the same panel yeah this wall wasn't originally here oh something else that I noticed I don't know if I can get a shot of it from here maybe yeah there it is um we do have some water damage back in this area it doesn't look real bad right now I think once we get the new roof on I don't think we're gonna have to really worry about that but there, there has been some water leaking through the roof in this area. 
And something else that I noticed earlier today is that it looks like there's been some water damage back in this area. Now it's it's a little bit hard to tell, but that kind of looks like mold to me, but it could also be, I don't know, maybe leftover bark or something. Hard to say on that one. It, it looks more like mold to me. So there might have been some water leaking over here too. I just noticed this board up here is a little bit discolored too, but it's kind of odd. I don't know if that's, and I'm talking about the one underneath the stairs. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I mean, obviously we've got the damage over here from the water leaking down that pipe. And we've got damage on the roof there. Although, like I said, I don't think it's anything terribly extensive, but that's actually kind of in line in a way. Yeah, he's the upper floor there. You can actually see it now. So I still have, I still have some demolition to do. And we're gonna have to figure out what we wanna do with this wall. Now that we know it's not load bearing, you know, and this is not, this was something somebody built, but we kind of liked it. And these posts, let's see, come on the other side here. Uh, these studs, they, they kind of need to stay. You know, you can see up there that these are in fact load bearing. And so at least some of these studs need to stay. And in fact, I'm not even sure if this was done properly to open a hole that big you know or the the wall here because um this paneling here this paneling here looks like more of the back more of the house looks like that over there i'm not sure be 100 percent honest there was so much done to this house it was modified so much that it's it's just hard to say I know that there was places that I, I know this house was not built all at one time. I know that. So it looks like we might have some cracking damage there. That's an old. I don't know. Actually, that's probably just part of the wood. Now that I'm looking at it. Huh. Anyhow, um. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm not entirely certain on the layout of this house. I don't know why. I don't know why this area would have been separate from this one here. Unless, yeah, I, I, I it beats me. I, I have no idea anymore. I do know that, you know, they went through this. This is a load bearing stud and they cut out most of it put that pipe in not supposed to do that and this is another well maybe that one's not load bearing oh well here's another one they cut that one completely in half <laughs> looks like there's another one behind it though so maybe that's maybe that's okay unless they cut that one too i don't know can't tell my gosh and then you start to wonder why these old houses start to sag and especially if they're left abandoned and start to fall down uh, a little bit of tar paper underneath there that was just for water uh, there's a little bit of water damage it looks like too not much though we can reseal that and that window should be fine we'll have to figure out what we're doing with this one of our people's on vacation Hawaii must be nice. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if we're going to have to wait till she gets back or not. I, I think we can, I think we can make a decision on that wall back there. Maybe just send her some, some mock-ups, some drawings or something. If you guys would, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. We've got, uh, Twitter, Instagram. I do try to post over on Facebook as well. Um, we have the Patreon too, 
which I am going to try to start uh, doing more with my Patreon account. Uh, I just haven't paid enough attention to it. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. And uh, it's nice and sunny out today. Nice and sunny. So, good weather right now. All right. I will leave you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.